Yo, what's up, man? I just got back from the theaters and, uh, well, I mean, I call it the cinema. And anyway, I just got back from the cinema and I, I just watched Spider Man across the mouth, the Spider Verse. Bro, that sh- shit was gas, man. Bro, I'm I'm never gonna doubt Spider Man again and his winky, <laughs> winky whopping spider sense. That is so lit, man. Well, um, anyway, um, uh, I'm so happy that I watched the movie because it has taught me really precious thing after I came out. Yeah. As soon as I got in, right, I was feeling so, uh, I was feeling so into my thoughts and I wasn't happy or I was just like really shy. But then, the reason why spider Man's such a good main character is because you can relate with him as a teenager and if you're a teen especially you they're so bro you can feel the power you can you can feel like you can basically feel like um all these things that you can relate to a boy but instead he has superpowers and he he's gotta go save the day but you realize that all the duties as a man, he does them and he does them right. Bro, so the main thing I got from this is like at the end of the movie, right? I'm not going to spoil it if you haven't watched it yet. So at the end of the movie, like you really see um, the his perception of everything changed and yeah, it was just crazy how it the how they produce this movie. So what I'm trying to say is the perception of your reality is what you're suffering from, not the actual reality. So change your version of reality because you're not seeing the full picture here. If you're suffering, you shouldn't. You gotta have gratitude for what you have. And that's why Go watch the Spider-Man. If you don't watch it, that's on you, man. I ain't playing no games with you. That's the best movie in my life. Go go get an ice pack. Cool down. And go get your seats at the cinema, boy. Peace out.